Hey y'all, former plant killer here, Jesse with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm, and today we are talking about sweet peas. Now, have I grown sweet peas? No, no idea what I'm doing. But I've got my trusty book here, Cut Flower Garden, turn to the sweet pea section to help guide me through it. It does recommend go ahead and soaking your seeds for 24 hours to help them speed up the process for sprouting and getting them ready to go out in the garden. Now they take six, uh, 75 to 90 days before they will bloom. And I've also learned, according to this book, if you live in a warmer region like we do in zone eight, you can sow these in the autumn and they'll come up in the spring and probably be more robust that way. So that might be something we try, but it doesn't feel like I've got many seeds in here. So I may or may not have seeds to do that in the fall and just experiment and see how that does. But let's go ahead and get these soaking. And this is the Yvette Ann sweet pea. I've got some, I don't remember the name of it, but some turquoise sweet peas coming too. So I'll have two types of sweet peas I'm growing this year. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's one more in there. So I got one, 12, 13. They gave me 13 sweet pea seeds for five bucks. So we're going to do, let's say five of them. Let's do six. Two of them are stuck together. There we go. That way, if something goes horribly wrong, I've got my backups. So we will leave these here to soak for 24 hours, and then we will get them into some soil. See y'all in 24 hours. So I had more sweet peas come in last night, so I'm gonna plant those as well. They've been soaking since I got them in, so it's close enough to 24 hours. What's a few more hours? So I'm gonna put in the Perlock sweet pea in Yvette Ann into this tray, which is separated by my wonderful high-tech string. And then I got turquoise sweet pea. Oh, these are beautiful. And I decided to do 10 of them and they're gonna go in this tray. So let's get them going. I'm just going to use my finger to make some little holes in here. Hang on. How many of those I got? Three, I got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And of course I did not use all my seeds because you never know what's going to happen. And we just pray to the Lord Almighty that it works out. But if it doesn't, we have spare seeds. So I got my label already made up. So I'll stick that in here. And let's see, poor lock. Poor lock is very pretty, like a deep, purple maroon color to be quite honest when I got it in I didn't remember ordering it <laughs> so I had to go back and look and see what in the world I ordered <laughs> so that one's done better put the label in there Jesse or I forget okay and now turquoise. Oh, so excited about turquoise. And I have kind of worked on my farm plan layout. I kind of know where I want everything to be. And I think I'm gonna put these sweet peas on some netting going in front of my layout, my farm layout, there we go. And I think I've just now gotten in the habit of putting some vermiculite on top but I don't think I'll have to do that with these. But I may just to help with the algae growth that may come since, you know, I've got to keep them inside for like two, two more months. Because tomorrow is February 1st, and I probably won't put these out till the middle of March at the earliest. So just a nice little layer of vermiculite. And then let's just spray them down. Probably don't have to spray this since my dirt's already moist. But I'm just in the habit of it now because I planted so many small little seeds. 
just makes me feel better to spray now. All right, so I will see you guys in a couple of weeks, thanks to YouTube Magic. All right, guys, it's been one week. One week, and I've already got baby sweet peas. Thought I'd take a little bit longer than that, but here they are. I've already taken the dome off this one. Look at those. Oh, you see them real good? Turquoise sweet peas have come up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I think I planted 10. So seven out of 10, that's not too bad. I'll have to look back at the video I recorded and see if I, how many I actually planted. I can't remember, but they look like little, little sticks. Just look at them like little green sticks, but they're already getting kind of big. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up into some bigger pots. So they've got plenty of root growth to go because I want them to get a little bit bigger before I try to even put them outside. Let's take a look at the other tray. This one's not doing as good. <laughs> Let's see. Of the poor lock, I've got one, two, three. Three. And I don't remember how I did how many of I did of those. So I've got three of these. I'm wanting to say I did like five each. So I've got and then of the uh event and I've got a whole two. See one here. And then one starting to come up. So what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to let this one continue to do its thing and get bigger. And maybe I'll have some more germination. Maybe there's just some light bloomers in there. But I am going to go ahead and pot up the turquoise. That's why I've got my giant thing of dirt. It's already moistened, ready to go. You never wanna just put it in dry dirt. You wanna go ahead and get everything nice, moist, and packed before you put them in there. So that's what we're going to do today. I like playing in the dirt. Ah, I can get my glove on. Nasty. And what this dirt is, is it's potting mix and seed starting mix mixed in together about 50-50 just to kind of give them that nice fluff that they're used to, but also just get them used to the potting mix that they're going to be in. So. And then I'm gonna grab some dirt that they're already in and stuff it in there. Making a mess. Now I'm just gonna poke a hole down into my dirt and I'm very gently going to scoop up my sweet pea and place it in there. And then I will water this some more just to help the roots establish. This is a very shallow pan. I don't want my sweet peas root getting bound. I don't know if that's possible with them or not. I don't want to chance it. And, you know, it could end up like my eucalyptus, which I haven't showed y'all yet. But uh, it ended up having some transplant shock on just two or three of them. Didn't make it. And that's okay because I potted up like 12 of them of each variety. So 24. 24, three didn't make it. I'm going to call that a good day. pleased at how these came up. I was kind of scared that they wouldn't come up well. But they did. They came up just like they should and everything is off center and I don't know why my plants are being planted off center. That's just how I'm doing it I guess. Now the next thing that's going to be really hard for me is not planting more of these because I tend to go overboard. And they need lots of space for a florette, so I don't need to go overboard with them when I don't have enough room for them. 
boop, boop, boop. There we go, all my little green sticks. I'll just scoot this back in here and let's label every single one of them. So here we have it, our sweet peas are potted up. They are going to just continue to grow until it's time to put them outside, which it's supposed to be in the low teens later this week, which means I gotta go cover up some plants outside. But now you know what the seedlings look like once they've germinated and they've gotten on up, they're like little, little green sticks. And if you are interested in more videos about starting from seeds all the way up to germination to possibly one month or a week later, then be sure to click this playlist here. If you're interested in seed starting supplies that I would recommend after growing for my first year, I'm going to my second year of growing, be sure to check the video here. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.